Justice League 40 is out today and sets the stage for this summer's colossal Justice League event, The Dark Side War. Jeff Johns and artist Jason Fabok are here to discuss the League taking on some of the deadliest beings in the universe. If you've read Justice League since the beginning, you know, with Darkseid attacking them and through Forever Evil and, and Lex Luthor joining the team and all this, it carries that through, but at the same time, we've tried to make 41 really an accessible issue. And Justice League has, up to this point, been the big seven. Will we see any roster change-ups? Yeah, we're gonna be introducing, uh, you know, a couple different new characters, some classic characters, new villains, and we can't wait for fans to check it out. We've got characters like Mr. Miracle's gonna play a big part in it. He's a great character. Mm -hmm that smile you like I'm them. smiling because when we talked last time I was like are there any characters that you're really excited to get your hands Mr. on Mr. Miracle yeah was there anybody that you brought in that Jeff was like that was Mr. Miracle for you it was, too it was, oh. yeah. one two three Mr. Mr. Miracle <laughs> you know? I started writing him and I'm like I've never written this character before and I love taking characters that are maybe off the beaten path yeah. and like kind of in the corners of the DC universe and trying to pull them and put them in the spotlight yeah so it's like oh front and center in a giant Justice League event about Dark Side and the anti monitor we're gonna put Mr. Miracle. Have there been moments where you guys talked about story and then you see some of the artwork and you're like, oh my God, this is beyond even what I could have imagined. There's actually a lot of things he does, like the way he draws uh, Wonder Woman, Diana, her role got bigger in the story because I'm like, wow, he really can capture her emotional presence, her strength. I just kind of got more into the character and she suddenly just, her role grew. But there's a lot of subtleties too where I can take out dialogue or I can add dialogue because of a look. But the key is, for me, not only the um, the power and the energy he brings, but the emotional subtleties. Yeah, and from from my perspective, you know, I've 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 never worked on a project where I was really collaborating with a writer this close, and it just, as an artist, it makes me want to bring my game up that much more because I'm that much more invested in the story and the ideas, and just wanting to make this book the best book that we can, like as a team. It's not a one-man show, it's, it's a team, all of us involved, trying to make the best story possible for fans. If you want more Justice League action, well, you can get that on Free Comic Book Day, May 2nd. DC will be giving away a new comic called Divergence, not to be confused with Convergence. The book also includes eight-page sneak peeks of Batman, Superman, and Justice League stories launching in June. And DCComics.com will have a map showing which comic shops are participating, and it will also include info on special guest signings. Also, our San Diego Comic-Con correspondent search is still going on and the competition is getting stiff. Here are some of the highlights. My name is Electro and that is my real name. I love DC Comics and that is my game. Who doesn't love DC? From the moment I saw Adam West trying to get rid of the bomb, it was perfect. Why am I the one it deserves? Why am I the one it needs? Why am I so full of myself? You know, that's the kind of fan that should be representing this company. He loves comics as much as we do. You need a hero without a cape to swoop down. Woo crowds, kick it old school like bop, bam, zoom, pow. And you gotta ask yourself, what would Superman do? You've still got a few more days to enter, so make a video telling us what makes you a DC super fan and why you should be our correspondent. Tweet your video to us by May 1st for your shot at becoming a finalist, and don't forget to include the hashtag DCAA giveaway and the bit.ly link you can find on our rules page. And of course, the prize includes hotel, airfare, and two four-day Comic-Con passes. Plus, the winner gets to be on our show. DC All Access is going to be taking a little break, but we'll be back with new episodes the week of May 11th when we'll announce the eight finalists of our correspondent search. In the meantime, check out all those videos right over there. And now, if you will excuse me, I am going to enjoy my time off. I'm just going to get a hug from Jim Lee. Jim!